Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your 60-second breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. Audra Elam was a 27-year-old from Illinois volunteering with the Peace Corps to teach English to children in the African nation of Togo. Her adorable dog, Socrates, was living with her over there. But when the COVID-19 pandemic hit, she abruptly had to leave Africa and return back to the States. But the U.S. government wouldn't let her dog back into the country, citing inaccuracies with his rabies documentation. In response... The Pups Act was introduced in Congress, or the Permanently Uniting Pets Stateside Act. It would require that a pet be allowed to enter the U.S. alongside a U.S. citizen or resident returning from overseas during a declared public health emergency. Now, that's even if the pet hasn't passed all the required health and safety uh, requirements, uh, so long as the owner agrees to comply with those requirements as soon as practicable after entering the, the U.S., It was introduced in the Senate by Louisiana Republican Senator John Kennedy. Now, supporters argue that the bond between a person and their beloved animal shouldn't be broken by government bureaucracy. Opponents counter that rabies is extremely dangerous, and once it takes a hold in humans, fatal. And getting lax about one infectious disease just because the country is in the middle of another may not be the best logic. Well, as for Socrates the dog, after viral public attention, the Department of Health and Human Services reversed itself and allowed the dog back into the country. They announced the change in a pun-filled press release, including this actual sentence written by your government. The administration has once again showed a dogged determination to pursue deregulation and unleash some common sense.